Hey guys, Vacuum Warrior here, and I just wanted to make a quick video on anyone that still plays Daisy Mod for Arma 2. Now, I do have Daisy stand on right there, but Daisy Mod is still great. And sorry about OBS being open down here. I'm just keeping this open to make sure it records all the programs I have to open up. But um, so what happens for Daisy Commander is either you either have to, I gotta find the games, open up Arma 2 or open up Arma 2 OA. Because when you first get, when you first download Daisy Commander, say you haven't started up one of these two, it'll, it might show you the servers, but you won't actually be able to log onto a server. So just put those back. So, but right now, hit refresh all servers, download a server list, and it shows up no servers. We're on any mod, any time of day, nothing's hidden. Install mods, unable to get version from the server. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. So, what you want to do is get Daisy Launcher. Just exactly how it's spelled right there. Alright, have it open. And this one should work if your commander isn't. I don't know what's wrong with the commander, but a lot of people says, say that theirs aren't working. Um, pretty much you just go through, download any of the mods that you want, and when you do, they'll show up here. These are all the mods I have downloaded. Quite a lot, actually. <laughs> um, and then you just log into whatever server you want to play on. Like, for me, I've been playing mainly Taviana, because that's one of my favorite maps, but... I'll try to the link of it into the description. Let's see if I can even find it. Daisy Oops. Launcher. Okay. DaisyLauncher.com. That's all you gotta go to. And, and you can just click download now. I, I was confused because for Daisy Commander here let me just copy this so I remember to put that into the description. So we'll create new, go to a text document, and we'll just paste that in there. Save, done. Alright, now if we go to Google, and we go to Daisy Commander, daisycommander.com. Simple. But what you don't want to hit, you don't want to hit start download here. You don't want to hit start download here. You don't want to hit start download here. You want to click install Daisy Commander. Now I already have it installed, so it will come up Dodish Daisy Commander. But obviously, like I said, it most likely won't work because I already tried uninstalling it and reinstalling it. We're just going to cancel this. So, what you do is go back to uh, Daisy Launcher and emails and stuff on my phone. Gonna click download now. Set up Daisy Launcher. We'll start downloading. It's 14.3 megabytes. Not very much. Just wait for that to finish. Now we're not actually... I'm not actually gonna download this because... or set it up again because I already have it set up. But I'm going to open it. Oh, excuse me. I'm tired. And when you open it, it kind of goes away. And then there it is. So you're just going to click yes, next, 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 next. Make sure that you have it create a desktop icon. Otherwise, you're going to have to search through your files. And yeah, and then you just click install, but I'm obviously not going to do that because I already have it. So that's all you got to do. Just a quick, easy fix to Daisy Commander not working. So if you guys like the video, click the like button, smack that subscribe button with your forehead, get on the boat, and join the rest of Vikings. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.